Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com. Um, what I want to talk about is revolution. I know you're thinking revolution in Guatemala. That's another subject. Right now, I want to talk about revolution in the United States of America. Okay. The first thing as we the people Constitution. The we don't need to have a revolution. I'm against revolutions. I am really against them. Like I say, we're talking the United States. I'm against revolutions in the United States. Uh, the main thing is revolutions tear the people apart. Now, after saying that, I know many people, I'm one of them, that says the United States government is all screwed up. The United States government, in all branches, so don't don't think. A matter of fact, if you are an employee of the United States government, you are partially the problem. Depending on your employment says how much of a problem you are. If you swore an oath to the Constitution and you allow all this crap to go on, you are one of the main problems. Now, Do we need a revolution, a fire, to burn all those roaches out? No. I don't believe so. I'm not, don't, don't, don't get me, uh, uh, don't get me set off thinking that I'm saying something that I'm not. You hear me talk about if you have morals, you're supposed to do the morally correct thing. And there are times when not only just having morals is enough, there's a time when you have a moral responsibility. Okay. The first thing, our Constitution only works with moral people. And those morals mainly mainly come from Christian type beliefs. Don't don't get this all screwed up thinking well you're making a religious thing out of it. Don't, don't go this way. Don't go that way. They were most involved 
came from Christian backgrounds. And if you think, without being stupid, you would understand that the Constitution works very well on paper. And the reason it does is because of morals. If someone does not have morals, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to them. It gets confusing to them. That's why you see so many lawyer type politicians, especially, they want to screw up everything. They want to twist the meaning of everything around. That makes me question their moral standing. For one thing, these politicians that are in elected offices, they made that oath. And they're not doing things proper like they're supposed to. They're sure not using their morals. Oh, come on. Come on. Talk to me. Tell me that I'm trying to act too uh, much better than these politicians. Come on. I'll tell you, they're gutless. They're spineless. They don't stand up for their beliefs if they have morals. If they don't have morals, they're right in line picking for worms like all the other chickens. Now, you got me off the subject on revolution. Like I said, I'm against revolution. But, I do have morals. And there are times when I do the morally right thing and there's times when I have a moral responsibility to do something even though I may get hurt physically financially I still do the morally correct thing because I have that responsibility to do the morally correct thing now, as we the people, do we have a constitutional responsibility? Hell yes we do. The only way the Constitution works is when we the people stand behind it and we demand that it's being used. Now, I'll tell you, we the people covers a lot. And some of these we the people are real chicken shits. They're gutless. They're, you know, I mean, it just, just curdles me just thinking about them. Because they see, they know what's going on, and they do nothing. Now, what can we do? I'm just a little guy. You're not a little guy. You're the we the people. And you have a constitutional duty. You have a constitutional responsibility to do something. And one, one of those things is a three-man militia. talked about it and talked about it. And when you sit on your ass and do nothing, just bitch, you are the problem. You are still we the people. Barely. Only by presence. Not by spirit.
forming a three-man militia, joining a three-man militia, learning something, learning a skill, networking, helping others. You don't think that's the American way? It is. And it's the strong individuals that our government really hates. That's why they want everybody on food stamps. They want them weak, they want them stupid. I don't want to get involved. I don't want to get my name on the list. Oh, shit. I tell you. And you call yourself an American. Oh, we the people. You're not. Now, do we have a constitutional responsibility to have a revolution? No. There's no reason why we should have a revolution, constitutionally speaking, because our Constitution has allowed us to take the power from the government when the government abuses its power. How are we going to do it? Well, one thing that I had to call me that brought to my attention why I'm the way I am after being in Vietnam. I did a lot of nasty things in Vietnam. But one thing I did do is I defended myself. I didn't have to deal with people. I was along the DMC. They just put me in a situation where a bunch of other military people wanted to kill me. So all I did was did self-defense. I protected myself. That's why I got the attitude I had. When I shot the guy in the convenience store, why was I happy about it? Because I defended myself. Why shouldn't I be happy? Why shouldn't I be proud? of myself. I am. Some people find that offensive. I don't give a shit. Now I tell you, I have a responsibility to defend myself from our government. I know how I'm going to do it because I do it all the time. And I've given you one option. The three-man militia. So there's ways that you can defend yourself. And we have that constitutional responsibility to defend ourselves from a corrupt... a government of tyranny. We have the constitutional responsibility and maybe even a moral responsibility. It depends if you have morals or not. So it depends if you have morals, it depends if you're a true American. That tells you what your responsibilities are. Do you stand with your responsibilities? That's your decision. I don't give a damn what the hell it is. As long as you stay the hell out of my way when I have to do what I have to do. This is Mike. No stress Mike.com. <laughs>